Hello everyone, my name is Vivek and I am from K4 Matrix. In my previous videos, I had shown you how to generate a T-Rex mesh for a backward facing step geometry. And I had shown you how to plot the residuals that I got from SE2 in tech plot. Now today I am going to show you how to load this volume course.sdplt file and I'll show you how to check the velocity profiles. So I'm going to take plot, file, load data and select the .sdplt file, click open. Now here check the contour box, click yes. So you can see the backward facing step geometry. Go to details. Here you can change the color if you want and here instead of pressure if you want to check the x velocity select x velocity click close now i'm going to add a slice here so i'll uncheck this contour and shade i'll come down i'll select slice you can click this icon and you can move this slice wherever you want now i'll go to details and I'll select the Z plane. I'll change the orientation. Now I'll check the vector box. Make sure you have selected X, Y, Z velocity. Now to remove these vectors, go to zone style, vector, and uncheck the show vector for this zone. Now to check the velocity profile, I'll select a polyline, I'll click here, press B for a vertical line and then click here. Now right click this polyline and click extract points and give the number of points to extract and select extract. So if you are unable to see the profile, go to plot, vector, details and I will change this value to 0.5 and I will press tab and close this. So now you have a clear view of the velocity profiles. Now if you want to check the velocity flow go to stream traces and select this icon and then draw a line on your slice and you can see the stream traces here so this is how you check the velocity profile and this is how you check the stream traces of your flow. So this concludes today's tutorial. Stay tuned for more.